You know, Mike, I've got some dry things going on here. What's that? And you have to be careful on dry spots because there's non-pressure and pressure dry spots. So normally I say, well, is the hair roughed up or is it smooth? Because if it's roughed up, you've got some serious, the saddle's really moving around. You know, it's like a big pair of shoes. They're just flopping on your foot. So that's where there's going to be an issue. A dry spot the smooth. The, the one thing too about that kind of stuff is, is that, um, well, a lot of times I'll tell people, you know, if you're riding with a trainer or you're take a, a, you're riding at a clinic, and I'll say, well, those dry spots there after you get done with a lesson or, or a clinic, most of them will go, no, they weren't there. And I'll say, well, then that says you got your horse up where, because that, that part of the back comes up into that saddle, and if you didn't get it, sometimes it's a non-pressure dry spot, you're getting air, more airflow and it stays cooler. Okay, so thermography wise, if you thermography that after a ride, it's, it's the same temperature heat as the rest of it. So it's not hotter, it's not colder, it's the same. Because I do them and I look and I'm going, okay, dry spot, let's see it. Oh, it doesn't look any different than the rest. There are just some places on horses that don't sweat. I mean, I owned a horse that for 26 years of the life I owned him, he, I never could get him to sweat there, ever. Never got a white hair, never got sore, not ever. You still wanna take it seriously, you still wanna look at it, you still wanna see what's going on. So don't just, just cause I say, well, there's pressure or non-pressure, don't ignore it, you know. Make a note of it and go, okay, I've got a problem, you know, I'm seeing stuff, what am I seeing? You know, so you call and you ask, and that's how you do that. So by looking at your dry spot here, what's interesting is that, you know, on your saddle, I've got one side that's a little that's a little more smashed than the other side, and that's pretty typical. You know, I mean, that's what horses do. People, you know, we don't set even. Horses aren't completely straight. So what's interesting about this one is is I, I took and did a little measuring where this dry one is compared to this one. You, the dry spot on the left side, which is your high side, is actually lower. So that means that the saddle did that, fell to the left. Okay, so hang on here, buddy. Stand up. I don't know if I'll see this or not. Stand up for me, guy. That's a good boy. So, basically, because the right side is a little flatter, it's falling over that way. It's going to the left, okay? Because what, what happens is, this side's flattened out, then what people tend to do is sit a little heavier to the high side. And since this went this direction, this side be, actually became higher, even though it was flatter. Because it, it went that way. So now, when we flock it, we rebalance it, and stuff, then what's cool is, is that when you set up a saddle and you rebalance it and the rider gets back in it, they go, oh, because then they feel it. 